there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kick. We all talked about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he eyes very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook, high kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting at a Portage, Indiana, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grant the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out front. balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Real nice body. 
Nice punch there by Lee. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Here he is back in the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Now connects with a right. Misses with the left hook. Huge block there. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming into it. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Oh, big head kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And now he's got the tie clinch. Ooh, what a head kick. Ooh, nice overhand left. Oh, oh, wow, you don't oh, see that every day. Beautiful even on roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage, and might as well use it. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Good punch, man. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted action, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big leg kick land. And he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Three minutes now to go in this one. Beautiful strike. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big body kick. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Clipped him with the right hand there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. 
And he landed the right hand there. Try to establish that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Two rounds in the books. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They beat in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you gotta really switch it up. Nice. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between right, rounds. Let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Good punch. Big left hook coming, it's broke. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, beautiful head movement, slips there. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Back to the feet now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. Nice stupid punch. Oh, nice. Had him working at trying to shut the liver down. Just misses with the straight right. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch there. Nice body kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. World of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high. And now he's got to hurt bad. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target there. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Whoa! was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Okay, Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. You got to check these low leg kicks. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Liver kick. Oh, 
beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Oh, nice. Well, missed on that one. Well, he continues to... Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Okay. Oh. Big knee to the body. Oh, he might be out. Hey. That one landed clean. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big kick. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. That one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. No! Oh my God! Head kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Lee's nose is cut. And it is bleeding. I can't take many of those. You better check. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence. It looked like it did start a little bit. Triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Not tapping out tonight. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. Where he can take his back, pull his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. It is the fifth and final round. Able to check the high kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Just misses with the jab there. Oh. On that punch right there. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Yep, got to be very careful there. Sort of hanging out here unguarded, oh, yeah. DC. On, not sure go. if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Under 
two minutes now to decide this one. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score.